everyone and welcome back to my channel Joyful Jesse. If you are new here, I am Jesse. In today's video, I am going to be sharing with you guys how is it that we take a very ripe plantain, it looks like a banana, it is not a banana though, it's a very ripe plantain, and make this super delicious sweet fried plantains that you can use as a side on multiple meals. So make sure to stick around and watch. We're gonna be making maduros, which is sweet fried plantains. I had a viewer request that I make a video on how to make this, and here it is. I am so super excited to share this with you. If you are new here, go ahead and make sure to click that subscribe button so that you never miss out when I post a new video. Like I had mentioned today, I'm going to be sharing with you guys how is it that I make my fried sweet plantains. We call them maduros. And maduros is just the word for right. If you missed my video on how to make tostones, which is how to make the fried green plantains, go ahead and make sure to check that out. Today, I am going to take these plantains that I have had sitting around for two weeks, two weeks. They, when I bought them, they were green. And I placed them in a brown paper bag to just give them some time to ripen because I want them to be nice and soft and ripen. And they were ripe about three days ago, but I didn't want to use them quite yet because I wasn't ready to make them and I was waiting for today. So I placed them in the fridge to make sure that they did not get too like mushy or moldy or anything like that. So um, as you can see, it's nice and soft to the touch when I push it, okay? And to people who might see this and think, ew, my plantain has gone bad. I am going to throw this away. This is disgusting. You're gonna see how we can make this thing into something that is absolutely delicious. In many of the tropical Caribbean cultures, they do eat fried sweet plantains. So plantains grow there naturally, it's just out, you know, out there, and we eat them green, and then what happens when you have them sitting out for a little bit too long is that they become ripe. So we don't just wanna throw stuff away, we wanna use that too. And it is absolutely delicious. They're so nice and soft and sweet. How can we use this? Well, once we fry them up, there's a couple options that we can have. You can eat them by themselves because they're super good, or you can eat them as a side, or you can make this thing called a pastelon, which in the future, I will make a video on how is it that you make that. And pastelon is just a layered, almost lasagna type of thing without noodles. Instead of the noodles, you use this, you use the ground meat, you use the eggs. But that's not what we're making today. Today we're making just the maduros. You can eat them on their own, or you can add them as a side to your meal. I personally like to use them whenever I make arroz con gandules. So if you haven't seen that video yet, go ahead and check it out. I also like to use it whenever I make white rice and pink beans or white rice and black beans. So I also have two videos out for that. I have one for the pink beans and one for the black beans. So make sure to check that out if you wanna make this as a side for one of those meals. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see how is it that we actually put this thing together. I'm going to first start by peeling my plantains. I like to cut the corners off first and then make a slice down the middle and then peel it with my hands. Look how nice and thin the skin of the plantain has already gone. That means these are gonna be nice and sweet. When I'm making the slice down the middle, I like to use the tip of my knife. Also, for some reason, when the plantains do become ripe, the skin is not as easy and as crisp to just slice the knife down the middle, so just pay precaution with that. Mm -hmm. 
Now that my plantains are peeled, I'm going to go ahead and slice them. Now there are several ways that you can slice them. I'm slicing them slanted, but some people just like to slice them um, right like inside so they have like little rolls. And then other people like to slice them in half and then slice them down the middle so they have kind of like a flatter, longer plantain. For this particular case, I'm just slanting them. Then I'm gonna head over to the stove and I'm going to turn it up to a medium high. Not a high, but a medium high. I'm going to put about half an inch of oil in my pan and then I'm going to let it heat up. I know my oil is ready when I test it with one of them and it starts bubbling up. That usually means that the, hot, the oil is hot enough. Now with these, you wanna keep a watchful eye on them because of the sugar content in them, they do tend to burn easily. So you don't just wanna walk away. You don't wanna have the oil all the way in high. You just want a medium high and just keep a watchful eye on them. As you're placing them, you're going to notice that they're going to start to get like a bright golding around the edges I say I cooked mine for about two and a half to three minutes per side I kept in checking in on them just again I do not did not want them to get burned then at this point I turn them over and you're going to see that it's going to have like a light browning It's not dark it's like a light browning when you turn them over now halfway through before I started flipping these my camera turned off so um, I don't have the exact time on there, but it was definitely, in the other one you can kind of see that it was about two and a half minutes from when I put them in to when I turned them around. Um, you might want to use a, either parchment paper or a paper towel whenever you take your plantains out just to help the oil seep out of it. I wouldn't use napkins because they stick to the napkins. Trust me, I know that because I experienced it the first um, time I took these out. <laughs> now that our maduros are fried, I'm gonna head over to the counter and I'm going to plate them very nicely. I like presentation. I think, you know, presentation makes things look so nice. And with these particular ones, um, they came up a little bit flimsy, so I'm being very cautious as I'm plating them on the plate. time for the real deal we're gonna give this a nice little taste I think I'm just gonna use my fingers for it I'm not gonna lie I've tasted them already <laughs> as I was taking them out I was just curious as how good they were gonna be truth be told if I knew like I had mentioned before um, I had to put them in the fridge because I wasn't ready to make them yet and so I put them in the fridge too stop them from ripening. If I would have known they were this ripe um, and would have thought about it beforehand, I probably wouldn't have sliced them sideways. I would have just sliced them whole in rounds and fried them that way um, to just help the consistency because they did come out a little floppy, but they're so good. Um, I gave them to Sean and he absolutely loved them. And they're super sweet, so let's give it a try again. Very sweet mm. and very soft. This is the perfect maduro to use for pastelones. Oh my goodness. It's perfect. You know, when you eat this with the savory stuff, it's that sweet and salty savory combination that just makes it amazing. So, there you go, guys. That is how I make my maduros, my fried ripe plantains.
quick shout out and thank you to Jennifer B for requesting me to make this video. I hope that you do find this super helpful. If any of you guys would like me to make a video of something to make that has to do with Puerto Rican culture and Puerto Rican recipes, please go ahead and comment below. I will be more than happy to go ahead and give it a try. Thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to like and subscribe.